towards the end of 1940, he declared that he had once again fallen ill and he would be confined to his bed in home and uh, he would not see any, uh, any person except his family members and very close friends. So he stayed that way. And sometime in January 1941, with the help of his uh, nephew, Sishir Kumar, Dr. Sishir Kumar Bosch, he escaped from that house. His escape itself is a great drama. He knew that he was under surveillance, but everybody thought that he would escape by train. At that time, air travel was not uh, very developed. And uh, going by train or going by leaving Calcutta by ship, he would have certainly been caught by the British. So Shishir Kumar Bosch drove him out of Calcutta over Grand Trunk Road and took him to a place called Gomo. At Gomo, he, meanwhile, he had disguised himself. He had grown a beard. He had disguised himself as one Molavi Ziauddin. And this Molavi Ziauddin uh, left Shishir Kumar Bosch and he boarded a train and went all the way to Peshawar. Then in Peshawar, he was received by uh, some people. And then from Peshawar, he walked. It's a very, very difficult walk through the country roads and through the Khyber Pass, entered Afghanistan. Then in Afghanistan, he was given refuge by an Indian trader called Uttam Chand. He stayed there for some time. He knocked at the doors of different embassies. He could not go do so very openly for fear of being caught by the British because Afghanistan at that time was crawling with British agents, including Indians. Eventually, he managed to get some kind of response from the Germans and later on from the Russians. So he moved from Afghanistan to Soviet Union over the border over which now refugees are running away from the Taliban regime across the Amudarya or Oxus River. And he entered the USSR. From USSR, he traveled all the way through uh, the Soviet Turkestan, what was then Soviet Turkestan, then through European Russia and eventually into Germany. Between uh, Germany and Japan was a huge mass of land and sea, which was totally hostile. Russia was hostile. And the seas were also hostile. It was impossible to fly across the Soviet Union and reach Japan. So what he decided was to go by submarine. And he traveled in a German submarine. He went to a place near Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. There he rendezvoused with a Japanese submarine. And in the Japanese submarine, he traveled to Japan. And from Japan, he met up with Rashbihari Bose. He took control of the Indian National. He took control of the prisoners of war. He organized them into the Indian National Army, which was also known as the Azadin Forge. 